Welcome back, it's only me. Welcome to another video. I've got some Nail Reserve LA polishes to show you. They kindly sent me some new colors. Uh, the first one is Happy Birthday. It's like a minty turquoise. Would you call it, a, or would you just call this one a turquoise? I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you'd call it. I'd call it a turquoise, I think. Uh, right, we're gonna do two coats of this on a nail. Right, the other colors that I've got are No Strings Attached. I'm going to put these on my palette so that we can draw the patterns with these. So that was the first one. This one is called Thursday Drive. Right, they're actually a little bit lighter than what the image shows, I think, in real life. This one is called Never Ever. This is a gorgeous, like, neon coral. Well nice. Well nice. Then this blue is called Another Glass. Little blob there splodge should i say this one i forgot to show you the name but it's called day vay i i don't know how you say it d-a-i exclamash v-a-i exclamation marsh marsh mask mask mark oh my gosh what and then the last one that i just showed you was called polish me pretty <laughs> exclamation mark <laughs> goodness me I've yeah right so I've done two coats of happy birthday and then this one is going to be the most simplest design that you could ever think of it's just going to be stripes now when I do this kind of nail for an easter egg design usually I would do my stripes vertically so going from the top to the bottom however this time I decided to mix it up I know, call me crazy. I'm going horizontally. <gasps> I am wild. <laughs> wild! So yeah, there's not a lot else I can tell you. If you want to, you can flash cure each line just so that you don't, you know, if you have an accident, you can just wipe off the one that you've had an accident with. Um, and then not have to worry about the other ones. Um, you can, if you are more confident with gel polish designs, you can do all the lines and then just cure it at the end, you know, all together. But it's entirely up to you. Just do what you find easier or easiest, should I say. I'm going to add one more color to this nail and then I will finish. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to do the, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I've, look, I've added loads. There you go. But it was off camera because it was very samey. <laughs> so, I mean, how easy is that? I'm not sure I like those colours together, but they're the colours that I had, so I used them. This one that I'm using now is the um, Polish Me, Polish Me Pretty. I really like this one. It's kind of like an in-between pinky purple. I like those in-between pinky purple colours. Oh, I think they're really nice. This one, I'm now going to use the blue. Blue, blue, electric blue. It's not really electric blue. It's called another glass and it's actually a pale blue. But you could do... Actually, this would look quite nice with white. And then the dot in the middle, you could do yellow to make it look like a daisy. But you'll see what I'm doing in a minute. I'm going to put a line across the top. And then I'm going to put a line across the bottom both roughly the same distance from the edge of the nail tip um, you can flash cure it here if you want to I actually did and then using a dotting tool I did start to use my brush but get a dotting tool because it's so much easier you're just gonna make some little dollops to create like half a flower so a dollop of three like that and then you want to grab your detailer brush. Oh no, you won't. You want to do it on the bottom as well. Like a mirror image. There we go. And then once you've got enough gel polish in your dollops, use your detailer brush just to pull that product up towards the line into a petal shape. So it's kind of like a very skinny pear. See what I mean? 
Now you don't have to, if you've got enough gel polish in your little dollops, you won't need to put any gel polish on your brush. And you, look, you can just easily pull the product up towards that line. I actually quite like this one. And we're going to do the same with the other two. Again, repeating what we did up the top. And then what I will do is I will pop this into the lamp to cure. Actually, this is a good time to tell you. Um, nail Reserve gel polishes only need a 30 second cure in an LED lamp. Get that. I love a quick cure. Love a quick cure. It just saves so much time. Okay, then I grabbed my white reserve gel polish. This is obviously a white gel polish. Just taking my dotting tool again, I'm just going to add a couple of dots there. See, if you do the petals and the lines white, you could just do these yellow and then add some white dots. But the, the dots, I'm just going to do a kind of a nice distance apart. We're going to add two more at the bottom, just about. There we go. And then that will be that one done. And you can cure that and move on to the next one. This one, I don't know if I like this one. It didn't quite work out exactly as I planned, but I thought, do you know what? We'll just keep it in anyway. I'm doing a wiggly wobbly line. You know, like when people test earthquakes and there's an earthquake and it goes blah, blah, blah. or like a, a child's, you know, when you draw, you know, when you were a kid and you would draw the sea, you would draw it with a wavy line. That's what I went for here. I could have just said wavy line, couldn't I? That would have <laughs> made sense. <laughs> and like we did the stripy nail, we're going to repeat this all the way up the, the nail. And then I'm just going to take my dotting tool and where the lines curve, you're going to add dots inside the curve. That was a bit, it, I hadn't done this bit very well here, so I had to neaten it up a little bit. But I was worried because it made that line a little bit too thick, which I did not like. But hey ho, it's done. So just carry on putting all the dots on the nail and it would look something like this. And I don't like this one, but there we go. I'm going to pop it in the lamp. And then lastly, I'm going to use this pink. This pink needed to be a little bit brighter. This, this pink is kind of like a nice nude pink. And it's not quite the right pink for my... Oh, by the way, I only done one coat. Can you see it's a little bit patchy? I did only do one coat because the other gel polishes are going to pretty much cover the nail anyway. So I thought there's only there's only there's only me. There's no. Oh my gosh! I thought there'd be no point me adding two because I'm going to add pretty much another layer of gel polish on the top with all the other colours. Right, that's what I was trying to say. So with this nail. You want to imagine the focal point being the middle left part of the nail. So all our gel polish lines are going to come out from that, that here, that point there, roughly, okay? Or, or, yeah, okay? And then what's going to happen is we're going to do a curved line and that curved line is going to get fatter. So it will taper as we get towards our little focal point. See what I mean? I think you do. Even though sometimes I don't know how to explain things, I feel like I do an okay job. And even if you're not sure what I mean, by watching the video, hopefully you'll, you know, you'll put two and two together. So I apologize. <laughs> if sometimes I don't make much sense, but actually, do you know what? It's the story of my life. I don't really make a lot of sense, but that's okay because that is me. <laughs> There we go, look, we've done all of our lines now. Pop that in the lamp, cure it, and then all that's left to do is top coat. I am shiny top coating these. As much as I wanted to matte top coat them, I went for shiny because I don't, I feel like I don't shiny enough and I don't want to upset shiny people who prefer shinies, you know? It's nice to have both. Anyway, that's them done. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. I'm going to leave two videos here. I hope you watch them and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.